Hi, welcome to Toshniwal Technologies Private Limited. In this video, we will explain the application of a bomb calorimeter. The item that is being displayed at the moment is a combustion bomb. This bomb is the heart of the entire assembly and it is inside this device where the combustion reaction takes place. This device consists of a bomb body, which is the cylindrical part of the bomb, the bomb ring, which we are just removing, and the bomb lid, which we will remove and place on the bomb stand. The bomb lid and the bomb body are entirely made up of SS316 grade for superior quality. The bomb ring is made up of stainless steel 304 grade. The bomb lid consists of the non-return valve, also called the NRV. It is through this valve the bomb body is filled with oxygen. These two ports are the electrical ports for the electrical supply. They are made up of brass. These two rods are the electrodes made up entirely of SS316 grade. This ring is a crucible stand. The crucible is placed on this ring stand. We will now fully assemble the bomb. The bomb stand can be used to measure the length of the nichrome wire and the cotton thread. The width of the bomb stand is 10 cm and till the marking is 8 cm. Take the cotton thread and measure 10 cm and cut it. Take the micro wire and measure 10, 8 cm and cut it. This is a crucible. The crucible is a device in which you will place a sample item, in this case benzoic acid. The crucible goes in the crucible stand. The two fissures you see on the electrodes are where you will wind the nichrome wire. Simply wind the wire around the fissures like so. Use the rings to make sure the wire is tight and that the wire will not be displaced during the experiment. This is how the wire should look like. Now take the cotton thread and tie a knot around the center of the wire. Make sure that one length is greater than the other. Place a sample item, in this case benzoic acid, on the longer thread like so. This is done to complete the circuit to ensure proper burning of the sample item. Now take the bomb blade 
and place it inside the bomb body. And close the bomb body using the bomb ring. Make sure the bomb ring is hand tight. We will now fill the combustion bomb with oxygen using the oxygen cylinder. This is the valve used to release oxygen attached to an oxygen gas pipe. This dial is the pressure gauge and we must make sure that the pressure does not exceed 30 kg per centimeter square. The pressure inside the combustion bomb should be maintained at 30 kg per centimeter square. This is the assembled combustion bomb. We will now connect the oxygen gas pipe to the non-release valve. Make sure that the connection is hand tight. You do not require a spanner for this. Loosen the black knob to release oxygen. When the dial hits 30, close the black knob to stop the flow of oxygen. Once the bomb is filled, use a spanner to disconnect the pipe. You will hear a hiss sound. That sound indicates the release of oxygen which was present in the pipe. Now the combustion bomb setup is complete and the bomb will be placed inside the calorimeter vessel.